Welcome learner. My name is Shivai Devnath. In this video, I talk about GetX package. GetX is the Flutter framework package and this package will be help you for state management, navigation management and dependency management. Once you use this GetX package, so then your application will be fast, stable and extra light and you got so much powerful process to develop your app. So what is GetX package? GetX package is the extra layer of the Flutter framework. That means if you are already know about Flutter framework, so then you can learn about this package because this package have some basic fundamentals features like state management, navigation management and dependency management. It is more essential when we are using Flutter framework. That was the very difficult task when we are creating any applications using Flutter. So GetX give the power to manage this dependencies problem. If you have to send some data one page to another page like one screen to another screen. So that time you need to be use state management dependency and also you need to be use navigation management. This is the most difficult process when you are using any real time applications. This problem solve with various type of package were already listed in pub.dev website. But problem is if you have to use state management with the provider package. So there have so many things to learn about provider package. But this package have everything which actually required a proper MVC structure based framework. So if you try to make MVC structure framework, so you can definitely use this package for your application development. These applications give you so much powerful to develop your applications. And I think if you learn about this package after then you can get extra power on your development journey using Flutter framework. So if you have interest to learn about this framework, so definitely don't skip my this video and watch this video till the end. So start with the code. Now I open the Visual Studio code and now I am create a very simple Flutter application in this time. Okay, this project structure name will be KTX basic demo. So our basic dart structure already created and now I already create the basic applications and I can start these applications using run without debugging. So actually my applications already is open. So now I need to be install the dependencies in this package. So right now I need to be adding the get package okay so getx package is the getx is the framework name but get is the library name okay so flutter pop add get so this is the command to adding the get framework using command line interface so if you have some basic knowledge so then you can get the package using command this was the actual command which i am using and this is the package where it included automatically so now i can start the applications development process here we can create applications with two manners basic application already created so how it work when you are create a application so that type flutter always execute your codes from the main functions and after then you can start your applications from run app methods in the run app methods you need to be instantiate your application object in this method and after then your applications will be 
start so this is actually very basic things but when we are start to applications using getx package so that time we don't use this material app our application for that reason i can remove this part from this section okay so after remove this section how can we implement it our getx package library so here we can use get material app after removing the material app widget so get material app is a different layer of the material app widget because material app have same features which app get material package but difference is get is the state management layer where implemented internally when you are using get material app for your application development process for that reason i removed the material app and now i am using get material app for our application when we are using this application so that time we have home widget already created so now we can use home and now we can create my home page instance like this now i can use get x app so now it's already created and it suggested using constant for our syntax and after saving this file we can get update from the header sections okay so nothing is changed just i change the material app widget layer with the get library so now what we are doing now here already have state management system already have okay so this is not a very big deal because it is already have in our applications but what is different using this get material app process if you are start design interface so that time you need to be optimize your applications using stateless widget because stateful widget is the interactive widget where you can put some dynamic object or dynamic variables where you need to be change some values like counter and you can click button of this and then your value will be changed so this is actually basic things of the stateful widget but now i just remove these things and replace with these things with the stateless widget okay so now i just replace it with stateless widget when i am using stateless widget so that time here have something is missing if you have using this stateless widget so that time don't need this particular class because this class is manages by the stateful widget for that purpose you don't need to use this things i just remove it if i remove it so after that we don't have problem on this section but we have some problem this section because this state management system is not work after changing this as a stateless widget so for that purpose i just remove it and this counter also not work we are not declaring this title variable for this specified this syntax when we are input some dynamic values so that time we can't use const here because this part may be changes in the application widget when the applications will be initiated so for that purpose you can't use constant syntax right now we can change it as a title 
this application is a stateless application right now. So right now, I remove commenting sections. It is actually static widget where you can't change any value when you are clicking these applications, but it's still working. For that purpose, you need to be hard to reload from the section. After this process, you can't change the values here. So how can implement these things? You can use another class which is called constructor. This package actually using for state management. So for that purpose, we can use my home controller controller is the extents of with the getx controller and after then when you are using this getx package so then we need to be use the variable of counter here and we can simply using the variable like zero but when we are press the button and if we want to change the values from this section actually want to change the value this section so that time we need to be watch this value so for that purpose we can use obs for watching this values okay but what kind of problem we are getting here because we are applying it integer value but when we are using this syntax so that time it's actually use another package in the getx library which is called rx library okay so now it need to be changed rx int and this problem will be resolved after using this data type okay now this data type is already working we need to be use the increment functions in cr increment function and right now we can modify the counter when this function is interacting so that time our value will be changed it is actually our business layer of the views part this is actually state management layer where we can using some business logic in this section and visual part will be here this is the actually controller and we can manage the view with the stateless widget now we need to be integrate this controller with the view sections if you have development knowledge with express.js so you can easily understand how it work when we want to load some data with the controller functions so that time we are connected with the view part with the controllers but here is the thing is reverse controller is integrated with the view sections so right now you can create my home controller widget which is called as a controller and then you can use the dependency management process and dependency managed by get library and here you can put functions where you can use the dependency and dependency is my home controller because here have some data which data need to be used in our applications okay i think you can understand the process so now we need to be change the value here so now we can controller here and then we can use the value actually we need to be using the increment functions here now we can also use controller dot increment using this function and when we are using so this time this is the not valid okay so then if we need to be use this functions after using this so if you have using this so then you can not get any problem when you are changed with this syntaxes so now you just 
clicking here but value not be changed okay so now refresh it and also you click here the value not be changed how to change this value this is actually observer object this is actually observer object where have some changes and you want to observe the value so that time you need to be wrapping with obx widget because this is actually a package where you can observe the value using this widget i already clicking here three times so value already changed in the memory section but this value not be refreshed in the screen section so this widget is refresh screen section and now if i clicking here so then the value is changes as a real time and this is the very simplest way to manage the states in our applications so i think you can understood the gatex state management process so this is the actually my tutorial of basic understanding about the gatex package if you like this video so hit the like button and share this video with your friends and stay tuned with me for the next video